a filmmaker, a minister, and a community are joining forces in the movie world. They're taking their neighborhood, putting it on the big screen, and telling a story of hurt and hope. The film is called House of Grace. The Crenshaw area becomes a character in the new drama House of Grace. And like many characters, this one has problems and some rough edges. The film deals head-on with crack cocaine addiction. Larry Flash Jenkins wrote, produced, and directed House of Grace with this community in mind. But right here is where I visit a lot of people and speak in a lot of churches and so forth, and I see a lot of people is, get caught up in this crack cocaine. There's more to life than this, D-Rock. There's more to life than just free base and getting high and laying in the streets. I can't do this no more, D-Rock. It's something that's very, very deadly, and I think that uh, the message had to get out there to the kids. Oh, I love you, baby. I love you. Omega Simmons co-stars in the movie. She knows just how real it is. My son is on drugs, so therefore I know. I know for a fact. I tell him, I said, if you're looking for that first feeling, baby, the only thing I can compare to it is sex. It's gone. And you keep on trying to get that same high, that same high, and it's not going to ever come back. This church in Angeles Mesa figures prominently in the film. Its pastor knows there's a crack problem on our streets and loaned out his church to shine a positive light. And I feel as a minister, it's important that we do things that enhance our community and pull out things that need to be exposed and brought up. And in the House of Grace, a little prayer goes a long way. It's a war. We are fighting. But with God, we're going to win. Jenkins is getting House of Grace into about 600 theaters nationwide. It opens next month.